YouTube, welcome back to a new video. I think this right here is part 16 of the Beginners Roblox GFX tutorial series. And uh, this one is quite special. I think this one is going to be uh, really fun because in this one, we're going to be taking models and objects from Studio, importing it into Blender, and uh, yeah, making it look nice. So this is going to be fun um, because you could do a lot with this and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it and uh, yeah. Also before we continue, um, if you have a discord make sure to join our server. We have just announced our ranking system. Let me go ahead and show you it right now. So as you can see ranks, rookie, novice, experienced, adept, elite, super professional master and grand master so if you read this introducing ranks what is the purpose we aim to have a credible ranking system based on three main aspects consistency creativity and detail this will hopefully allow designers to better visualize their progression as well as others and providing a basis for developers seeking to commission an artist this will assist to gauge a designer's competence and allow critique and incentive to progress to the next rank. So to receive your rank, post your portfolio into ranking right here. As you can see, people have done. Um, you can see right here, our rankings based on logos. Uh, you can make anything. Not necessarily, you can make anything. It's a general assessment. Master. Now let me explain the master's thing to you. So first of all, you have to know what a professional is. A professional is a designer who have proven themselves in the community with a high skill level, consistency, reliability, and have contributed to popular games on the platform. Now professionals will be able to have their own uh, their own customizable channels right here under verified professionals right here. As you can see, here is Ripper and here is Vexio and you see the info. Uh, here are the current verified professionals so there can be 10 professionals total and how you get the master rank is the five best professionals we're going to do polling with the community we're going to discuss um, with ourselves and the best five professionals will gain the additional title of master and the best master out of the five will become a grand Master. So that's how ranks are going to work. Um, master, the master and grandmaster rank can fluctuate. So somebody could attain this rank and you know keep it for two months, and somebody else could take the place. All right, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Uh, let's go into models. Let's start looking for some cool models we could add into uh, Blender. We got a gas station here. This could actually be pretty cool. Uh, I can actually show you guys how to make a quick scene with this because I just saw a Lambo right here. So we're gonna get the Lambo and the gas station. As you can see, this uh, could be something cool. Yeah, let's do it. So click on the gas station. We right click export and gas station right here. All right, so here we are. Um, this is where we left off last time. I'm going to exit out of camera mode. And uh, we got a cool floor. I'm just going to hide it for right now. Let's go ahead and let's go into file, import, and wait for an object. We're going to go to where I exported the uh, models. I'm going to go gas station and, we'll go s and I'm going to keep it on split by objects right here. So let's hit import. All right, so here is our gas station. I'm actually just going to move the gas station. Usually you'll move the character. All right, so you can see the lighting is already looking pretty, pretty decent. All right, so I'm just gonna take this floor here and just enlarge it. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a cheap and lazy way to do things, but I think it's fine. Yep. I'm gonna go into shading, adjust the scaling a little bit. I think it's a bit too big. So let's drop it down. Get this right. There we go. Now we got our character and a gas station. 
with a very nice floor right here. And we can also click on our gas station. Actually, we can hit tab, select, hit select X, and let's go faces. Delete that. So we just got this plane right here. Good skillet. There we go. That looks good to me. All right, so we got our character in the gas station. Okay. Now, um, before we do anything else, such as the lighting, let's grab, let's get our Lambo in as well. So I'm gonna import that. So it's right here. Let's go objects set, set origin and origin to geometry right here. Moving in on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna place it. I want to actually put it on this side. Okay. I'm gonna put the Lambo. Alright, I'm gonna put the Lambo right here. Let's do some basic lighting adjustments, ambient occlusion. You can see what this option does. Increase the distance and factor. And then let's go check our HDRI. Uh, you can see what our scene looks like without it. It looks pretty bad. So you want your HDRI. Alright, so I'm gonna take my model right here. Okay, grab the legs. And we're just going to move my character uh, right here. Okay. And this is weird because I'm going to show this entire gas station. It's kind of hard. I don't know what angle to go for. I mean, there's so many angles you could do. I don't know what angle I should go for because if I show the front of the car like this, it's going to this kind of weird angle because it's all empty. All right, but if I go right here, you're going to see the back of the car. If I go to this side, you can't see the the little, um, you can't see the the little, little store right there. Uh, I think we're just going to stick with this. I don't want to be I don't want to overthink it and take too long. So. How about we just place our character right here? Let's just and let's just do it like that. Let's not make a big deal over it. Let's make our character lean back on this uh on this car. So I'm just using G and R and the axis keys. I'm terrible at posing things, or I just don't put much effort into it, but I think this is a fairly decent. Alright, there we go. Okay, alright, so I actually went ahead and made a little material for the card right here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to adjust some stuff about our lighting to get it exactly how we want um, let's go ahead let's take off our general and uh, our sunlight right here alright so this is how our scene looks with just our HDRI let's go into shading and from last video let us adjust our rotation let's get some different reflections here so we got that's actually kind of cool that looks better <laughs> you can see this changes drastically right you see that that's pretty cool all right i'm just gonna stick with this one go for the wheels metallic up specular and roughness down you can see that looks really really cool um right here the rims Ooh. Look at that. I really like that. Um, those don't have to be adjusted. The calipers right here. So the calipers, metallic, specular, roughness, uh, they should be mats. So I'm just going to keep them like that. Alright, now the windows are in are extremely, extremely important because let's hit tab, let's click on the windows. 
Now for the windows, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to transmission and we're gonna turn transmission all the way up. Let's go down to settings and tick on screen space reflection right here and subsurface subsurface right here, blend mode, let's go into alpha hashed and shadow mode alpha clipped or alpha hashed. Both work. But you can see our windows now work. We have the Lambo interior. Let's go ahead and do the interior real quick. Metallic, look at that. You can't tell me. This right here does not look amazing. This model is actually really nice. Let's see what more I can do. Um, as textures, okay, the pedals are not these. I assume these are warm materials, so right, we just keep it like this. Let's go into sampling, turn viewport up. Alright, let's click on our windows again. Go to material, uh, we could go metallic up. It's gonna look like this. It's a little bit busted. Alright, we got specular, roughness, you can turn roughness down. So it looks on the outside. We got glass. Specular. Now we got a very, very nice window going on. Kind of a fishbowl. <laughs> okay, we got some tints. Uh, we, let's only base color too. Okay. Now, I should have done that from the start. Lower the base color. Alright, now let's go ahead and have some fun. Right, metallic. Um, roughness. Ooh. Okay, it's cool. I var. Let's see the difference this makes. Let's drop it down slowly. Okay, look at that. Got some nice windows now. Got my character right here leaning against the car. Uh, where are the tail lights? I don't know. All right, uh, we got the front of the car. I should make this glow if you guys want. So hit tab, click on this right here, and change the mode into mission. The mission, and you can see, get this cool results. I'm going to do a separate render of the inside, but this finishes for now. Click on the gas station, that's the tab, and uh, you can also add textures to these walls but it's going to take some time if you don't want to all you gotta do is just adjust these sliders hit tab click on these walls adjust these sliders and you get some pretty pretty decent results is there anything inside okay there's at least an interior so that means we could do the windows as well we just copy the cars let's call this window Let's click on these and hit select to select all. Go right, go right here and change all of these to window. And as you can see, we got some nice windows going on. Um, got the trash can right here. All right, we gotta adjust uh this right here. So like that. Change these to emission as well. Let's go ahead and make turn this into yellow, orange. Right, let's enter into camera, position our scene, we can adjust our focal length. Let's turn back on general and some lights and our sun. Make it a bit yellow. Let's maybe shrink down a little bit. Our right, camera. Focal length. I'm gonna pull it, pull it back. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. Okay. All right. Let's position this viewport display composition guide center. Um, thirds center. All right. Center center. Uh, the scene. Alright, this is fine. I like this. 
I'm gonna hit render, hit render image, and I'm gonna see you guys in Photoshop.